Hey, me Tom Ward, Coin TV. How good does it feel to go out and you know play the way you guys know you're capable of after kind of what went on last year at this time? Um, I mean, it's a great feeling. We came into this series um, knowing that we got to be the team to deliver the first blow. We got to come out aggressive and uh, make a stand. You know, regardless if it's a win or a loss. You know, we we made it a point to come out here and be aggressive and. Um, just have that attitude of we're going to be here all night. And um, we did that and got the first one. Barry Trammell with the Oklahoma. Uh, right here on the front row, Damon. The uh, Ennis had a great game against his old pals. How much was he a help to you guys tonight? And did you guys have any sense of how much he wanted this game since he's going you know, against somebody that he's so close to in Adams? Uh, yeah, I think anytime you going up against a team that you've played for, especially in you know the most important uh, game and series of the year, you're going to want to play well and you're going to want to come up on the winning side. So um, I think we understood that he was going to, you know, come out ready to play just off of that alone. But um, he was the MVP of the game, you know, especially down the stretch, getting us second opportunities, third opportunities. Um, you know, he had a huge presence um, down the stretch and um, played a huge part in us winning this game. Dame, uh, after you guys jumped off to that big start, Terry even mentioned that, you know, you kind of you kind of assume that team's going to make a comeback. Uh, where was your, your mindset, I guess, when, when they were able to come back and, and then even close it to, to, I believe, one point there in the fourth quarter? We knew it was going to be a fight all night long. Even at the beginning of the game when we were up, I think, 17 at one point, I wasn't looking at the scoreboard like, all right, let's put them away. I was like, let's just stay solid, keep competing, um, keep playing hard. You know, the way we're playing right now is – um, a type of game that we can sustain, and it's, it's in our favor. So that's that's all my mindset was, and that's all we kept preaching in our huddles. And then when you know they make their runs, and when they get back in the game, just weather those storms. Uh, you know, whenever they go on a run, don't let them take over the game, and um, also make them earn it. And I thought we did a great job of that over four quarters. To your left in the middle, Dan. Dame AJ McCord from Coin. They were five of thirty-three from distance. Which what were you guys doing so effectively to make those shots hard to fall? I don't think it was really anything we did. Uh, you know, that's actually one of the things that we need to do a better job of going into the second game. Because um, a lot of times we it was Paul George. I think he shot half of them, and he's the last guy we won't shoot no shots. And some of the ones he got were open, and he just happened to miss them tonight. Um, and we don't want to give that many three-point attempts up. You know, anytime you're allowing the team to take that many threes, it's, you know, it's not good if they make, you know, 13 or 14 of those. So um, we got to tighten up and try not to allow that. But, you know, we love it when they miss them. To your right, Dan. Dan, Jason Quick, The Athletic. How would you describe how your body feels right now? It looks like you were getting hit a lot. And in particular, the play at the end of the first half when you kind of fell into, this, into the stands, what, what happened there? I mean, I feel fine. You know, obviously, you know, coming into the playoffs, it's going to be physical. You know, you're going to have some bruises. You're going to have some, some hard falls. But sometimes it's not as bad as it looks. You know, I've, sometimes I hit the floor like the one where I fell, like kind of into the first row. It wasn't as bad as it looked. Um, took an elbow in, in my cheekbone, so I see my eye kind of swollen. But um, it's not as bad as it looks. And, you know, it's a good thing that we got time in between games to kind of um, shore those things up, take care of ourselves. On your uh, Kevin Pelton, ESPN.com. Dame, I'm sure you were aware of Venice's rep is kind of being better offensively than defensively. What have you seen from him on the defensive end of the court since he's been here? Um, just his his effort. You know, I think when you when we come into training camp, you know, we establish what our principles are and uh, the things that we do on this team defensively and offensively. And for us to have got him halfway through the season. You go from coming off the bench playing in the second group against second groups, and then Nurt goes down, and now you're playing against starters. You're playing more minutes. And he's just been, you know, trying his best. And, you know, it's a lot of guys who aren't great defenders. You know, I'm not considered a great defender, but I think when the effort is there, when your focus is there, and you care enough, you know, the desire is there, you can do something for the team. And I think that showed, um, since he, that's shown since he's been on our team, and it showed tonight. To your right again. Dame, this has been a long year for you since the last playoffs. Is there any sense of vindication from tonight? Uh, last year we didn't win a game, and this year we did. You know, it was we've go, we've gone two playoffs without winning a game. You know, so obviously it's a good feeling to get back on the winning side, and it's only one game. You know, I think that's that's all it is. We we knows we know how it feel 
to win again. And now we can just, you know, kind of move on from that and, and stay focused on this series. Back here on the left and the back. Uh, Eric Gunderson, USA Today. Uh, Mo had a tough injury last year, right before the playoffs. Knowing what he's gone through, how how happy were you to see him, you know, being out there guarding PG and and, and really being active? He embraced the challenge, and you know, we had a lot of things going on uh, going into last postseason. That you know, like you said, Mo's injury. Um, you know, Ed was kind of unhit. We just had a lot of things going on with our team, and we we limped into the playoffs and. Um, to see Mo come out and embrace that challenge like he did tonight, that's what we need. And a lot of times what Mo does, what Chief does, it doesn't show up on the stat sheet. Um, but their impact on whether we win or lose is huge. And um, towards the end of the game tonight, I just told both of them, like, I love y'all. Y'all just don't know how much I love y'all for the, you know, the stuff that y'all do for this team. And, and don't get credit for it. And, um, you know, that was it. But a lot of the things that they do, it, it kind of goes unnoticed. And... Uh, they mean a lot to our team. So, you know, I'm happy for Mo being able to, to come into this postseason healthy um, and have an opportunity with a, a challenge like Paul George. Um, and the fact that he's embracing it is, is great for our team. To the right. Dame, did you notice Mrs. Allen here, and did you have any interaction with her? Uh, yeah, I did see her. Um, after the game, they said congratulations. We spoke. You know, I said hello. That was it. Um, I'm not sure what else there was to say. Did it bring back any any memories with Paul or anything of feeling gratif gratified that you guys were able to win? I mean, we felt that way um, all season long. You know, I felt that way just being a part of this organization. And um, I think I told you a few weeks ago, you know, sometimes I look over and I'm expecting him to be in his seat because I'm used to him being there in the front row and he's not there. And I'm like, I'm reminded that, you know, he's gone. So. Um, I think as a group, we, we play with that. You know, we all appreciated him and, you know, him coming around our team and as passionate as he was about our team. Um, so we've always played with that. Last question. Okay. Thank you, Dan. Thanks, Dan.